So the switch then at Stratford from Guthrie to Langham. Yeah, God, you're, God you're good at <laughs> no, but getting on with a story. No, you I must have been wild. What? Yes, it was given wild. the different temperaments yeah. between the two and, men. And it was dead right. Of course, it, it was absolutely right because Tony would move in everywhere as he did everywhere else in the world <coughs> with a bubbling champagne, as I call it, you know, and open things and stay for a couple of years and then piss off in a, mo in a moment of great glory and then leave the poor son of a bitch you had to take over. <sighs> that was not easy. Not easy to top Guthrie and not easy to put a lot of shambles that he left behind together. And so Michael Langham with his um, much more sort of academic demeanor, um, intellectual, uh, very capable theater man already, well known in England, uh, obviously a better at the administration than Tony. At, uh, at organizing an institute like Stratford. Um, he was superb. And he, what he did was he, he was the sort of mellow burgundy to Tony's bubbling champagne. He mellowed that burgundy, he mellowed that company, and he formed the nucleus of one of the best companies this country has ever seen in the beginning. Uh, and, and and that kept on right through his reign until he left in 1967. It was the, I call them the best years at Stratford because they were the adventurous years, and uh, and they, they they were the establishing years of the excellence that that company was recognized worldwide. Uh, he had the chutzpah and the knowledge to get people from outside to come in as well to keep the company fresh and on their toes, uh, outside, you know, stars. And Paul Schofield, Julie Harris, I, you know, Eileen Hurley, and Siobhan McKenna. I mean, it, it, always sprinkling it with international people, which kept it on a higher level. Excellent supporting middle group of older men like Dougie Campbell and Tony Van Bridge and Eric Christmas and all those excellent old character actors who, who formed the nucleus of that, and the strength of that company. 